Good morning. This is Jerry3904 on the MX Linux Forum, and I'm here for about 10 seconds to introduce a nice video on the wonderful new menu that we have in MX23 called App Finder. The App Finder, the developers of App Finder were two users, highly talented users, Kobayan and Melber. Um, they are both highly, highly active contributors to MX Fluxbox development. The base of App Finder is Rofi, uh, plus a whole lot of advanced settings. And if you don't remember Rofi, then you can get some help on that in general. There's a couple of videos I've done on Rofi and Rofi Manager, and there's a good long uh, MX Wiki article on Rofi. And with that, I will turn it over to Melber. Hello, Melba here. Just want to give you a run through of one of the more noticeable changes in MX23 Fluxbox, and that's the App Finder, which of course is the window that opens when you click on the MX logo in the bottom left in the panel. App Finder is a Rofi window, and before we go any further, I should give credit to Kobayan or Kobayan or Kobayan, I'm not sure how you say the name, for putting together this Rofi configuration and as you can see it's pretty much what you would expect an app finder to look like it has a list of apps has a search window at the top and has a few tabs on the side you can scroll through the list of tab list of apps using your mouse or the up and down arrows on your keyboard using the right and left arrows you can also skip across pages and when you start typing in the search bar, the app names will be filtered. The first tab is the All Apps tab. As the name says, it lists all of the apps that are installed on the computer. The second tab is a Categories tab, which filters the apps according to their categories. So MX Tools will just show you the MX Tool apps. Office apps will just show you the Office apps, so on and so forth. The third tab is a Help tab. It has a link to a short Help document. And perhaps most interestingly, it has a link to Settings. We've put together a small Settings app to help you adjust the appearance and the location of the app finder window. When I click on the settings, the window opens here. Should also perhaps tell you we've set the app finder button with a right click to directly open the settings. If you've used the Rofi manager, the uh, contents of this window should be familiar. First of all, we have a theme. At the moment, we have Comfort Dark as the default setting. Let me go through them quickly. We have Comfort Light. You always need to press Apply using the light colors of the Comfort theme. Again here, I should thank Kabayan for helping put together these themes. Next, we have Nordic Dark, which is a slightly softer grey theme. Southern Dark is a slightly warmer grey theme. And last is Ultralight. As the name says, it's Ultralight. The next thing we can adjust is the highlight colours, which is the blue which appears around the search bar here or here. We can Simply select the colour from the presets. You'll see it's now changed to green. Or we have a pipette so you can choose a colour from a wallpaper or somewhere else on the screen. Click on the pipette. I can take the red from there. Say OK. It's now changed to red. With the pipette, also if you know the hex color code, you can enter that directly in here. So if I wanted 
fire engine red. I'm pretty sure that's the code for it. And there we have a much brighter red. The next set of options are the tab settings. The first tab will always be all apps. The remaining tabs you can choose what you want to have there from categories and help that we have at the moment. We have two other options. We have a file browser and we have windows. I'll apply those and show you what they are. The file browser is just a quick way of searching through your home folders. So I can say looking builder in that's pictures, sorry, it's in German. And if I click on there, it will open the image. The Windows tab shows me which windows I have open and allows me to swap between them. Next item is location and X and Y offsets all hang together. This being Rothy, locations are described in, with cardinal directions. North is up, south is down, east is to the right, and west is to the left of your screen. At the moment it's set southwest, which is bottom left corner. X offset will move the Rothy window left and right. Y offset moves it up and down with the particularity that a negative value moves it up and a positive value moves it down. That only affects the Y values. So at the moment it's set to negative, so minus 45, which is enough to push it up above our panel. If I change this to zero, you can see that it covers over the panel. If I change that to northwest, it now appears in the top left corner with zero offset. I can show you to move it across quickly. And it's now been moved 50 pixels across the screen. The next two items are the width and the height of the window itself. At the moment, it's set to 20% of the screen width and 60% of the height. We can change those around quickly. And you'll see it's now set to 50% of the width, very fat and not so tall, which is perhaps not so practical, so I'll change it back. The last item is the font. That determines what font is used there. Let's pick something a bit crazy here. We'll make it a little bit bigger. see that font is now used. It's not a very nice looking font so perhaps I'll change that back to what it was. Or we'll just take monospace. And you can see it. So there are two items that aren't in the App Finder settings yet, but um, you may wish to adjust. And they are, you may have noticed, I'm launching apps at the moment with a single click. So single click on there will open the app. You may prefer to use a double click to open items and a single click to just select. To do that, we need to open the configuration file which is located in .config, Rothy, Themes, App Finder, and the configuration file is called MXD, X, uh, MXFB App Finder RASI. You can see it's quite a short document. The two lines that govern the single and double click functions are these two here with select entry and accept entry. If we comment out those lines using two forward slashes, we have to use forward slashes because RASI files are 
you use a C++ language and save you'll now see that I can select and the app doesn't open the app first opens when I do a double click the last item is a hover select it's this item that's already commented out here I will remove the comment so that it is active and you'll see the highlighting follows my mouse. We decided to comment this out because it, when you scroll with your mouse wheel, as you can see is happening here, the arrow likes to steal the focus back. You have to hold the mouse very still if you want to scroll with the wheel. We found that a little bit disturbing, so we decided to comment it out by default. If you want, you can uncomment it and see if you like it. So that was a quick run through of the MXFB app binder. I'll set these back to the original settings so that next time I turn it on, I know where everything is. Southwest is what we're looking for. Y offset minus 45, back to zero. Change my color back to default. Whoops. And apply. And we're back to where we started from. So that was a quick run through. I hope you enjoy using App Finder. Okay. Hope many thanks to Melbourne for that fine presentation. Um, I hope you enjoy, we hope you enjoy App Finder, that you find it both useful and fun. Uh, and finally, watch for more coming where MX23 is coming out the door. Thanks, goodbye, I'll see you another time.